This boulder is one of the most famous traps in history. They'd roll these bad boys down the hill and crush you like a pancake. And there's no way you could replicate something like this and other famous ancient traps and put them in Minecraft, could you? Oh, well, that was easy. All right, well, I guess that gives me a great opportunity to work on getting revenge on my brother. See, last night, he texted me this. So I'm gonna spend the next 90 minutes of my life building an insane trapped course literally just to embarrass him in this video. But first, we need a starting point. All right, that should be perfect. Our very first trap is gonna take place at the very top of the building. So for our first trap, I want to destroy Isaac with a boulder. And I tried to set it off at the top and have it roll down and crush him, but I realized it'd be a lot funnier if I watched him run up and try to avoid repeating boulders. Let's bring this all the way down to the very bottom of this. Now what's actually going to happen is Isaac's going to start down here at the bottom. So I'm going to create little micro areas where he can get out and hide. And if he does it wrong and times it wrong, he will die. And I will win and embarrass him in front of everybody. So now we have this set up. We have a starting platform down here, which to me looks pretty sick. And all I need to do now is create a slow redstone repeating circuit that will slowly spit out boulders the entirety of Isaac's race. Thing is, I don't really know how to slow down redstone. How's this pace? Hey, that's actually not bad. That's what you're looking for, a somewhat challenging pace that's not exactly possible to survive unless you're extremely skilled. So this is now gonna shoot these down the side and Isaac's task will be to make it up while, while hiding inside of these little hidden cubbies right here. You know what would be funny if I like kind of tricked him a little bit, made some of them just a little bit closer than the others, went to different directions. I, I think it'd be pretty fun. All right, boulder trap's pretty sick, but have you guys ever seen this? A real actual German trap. This was declassified from the German military. They would basically put a bomb inside of a box, put screws around it, and then put a cat in there. You would want to go save the cat and you'd open it. It would explode and hit your face with screws. So if he walks down this, it'll take us into the next room. Obviously, we need a cat of some form. We need the cat to be in a wooden box of some form. We also need TNT. So I think we'll go ahead and put down some barrels down here. So it looks like an actual storage room. I'm gonna put some on the ground here. And then at the very end of this dark, demented hallway will be the actual trap y'all been waiting for, the old cat box. First off, we need to make a box big enough to fit TNT. So the TNT could go here. But then you gotta really clear this area out because then you've also gotta have room for not just TNT, but a cat. So we'll put the cat below it, I think. That's a good little way to save some space here. We shrink it like this and the cat sits below it. That way the box becomes smaller and you save space. So there's your little design. Uh, then the cat's gonna go right in there, slip that under there. No one can resist the sound of the meowing cat. So then we just need a way to trigger it. When this breaks, the TNT goes off. Oh, wow, that's disturbing what I'm designing right here. Put down a uh, observer, maybe right in the center like this. And my theory is when this observer has something on the top trigger, it would explode. I, I know there's a few of you that might see this and be a little bit disturbed, be like, Zach. How do you come up with that so quickly? I, 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 I don't know how to answer it. I'm not sure. So that's gonna go there. The idea is if he opens this, it would trigger it. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, I actually just created a fully functional working cat bomb. I'm actually about to cry. The final thing we have to do is convince Isaac to actually save the cat. But the thing is, I don't even know if I have to convince him. He might just want to save it on his own free will. All right, let's go ahead and clean this roof up and make it a little easier to get to the top of this. So once he does that and opens it, what I'd like to do is design it so the next trap is actually, I don't know where, I'm not sure. I'm gonna make it so it's right here underneath this. So if you dig into it, you would find it, but really you've got to blow it up so it blows the wood up so you fall down in the hole. Y'all see what I'm saying? Uh, but before we go and work on the next trap, I do want to put some decorations up here and give this room a little bit of like a vibe. So my idea here is just to make it feel like a storage room inside of a giant bedrock pyramid. So we'll just say, storage, do not put wrong items away. Like, I, I, you know what I mean? I just want to create like a little environment here. So it feels like an authentic place to be in. And to me, we need a little bit more carpet. That's what we need. Dark black carpet that pulls the place together. There we go. Looks less like a little evil dungeon now. More like a, a well, it's okay. No, it doesn't actually. I'd say we're good. I'd say this was detailed enough, guys. The idea here is to embarrass my brother, not build something gorgeous. Now that we're onto our next trap here, we need a little bit of light. I'm going to use sea lanterns for the next one because our next trap has nothing to do with the ocean. In fact, it has to do with lava. And this is why it will trick my brother. Take a look at this bad boy. It's a simple Minecraft lava trap. Build yourself two columns, pop a door in the middle, dig a hole down there, and then put lava in the hole. The idea is when they go to walk in the door, this pulls out the floor, they fall on the lava and die. It does seem relatively simple, and that's why I've never been more confident that I will fail. To make this even more fun, guys, we're gonna see if we can do this without watching that tutorial. I know I need a door. I know I need redstone, sticky piston, and lava. And so let's try this. Lava. Now, I may be dumb at redstone, but one thing I have learned and mastered is the redstone inverter. This allows you to keep this powered on, instead of powered off when it's not working. I wish I could explain that to you better. I don't even fully understand it myself. I just know how to make them. You're gonna put a torch down. You're gonna wire it up, all right? And then you're gonna bring this bad boy right back down to the um, pressure plates. And then you're gonna need some doors here, right there. So this is the pressure plate, which needs wired. So 
Will we take it the other way? Because I did this whole thing backwards. Isn't that fun? A little fun, exciting little mistake there, huh? Okay, now if I step on this, let's see what happens. See if it, uh, see if, see if there's a little skedaddle here. Oh, look at that. Wow. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. Okay. We got to seal this off though. Make sure it still works. And I know y'all been playing that doors game lately with doors literally everywhere. Doors, 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 a door, everything. Door this, door that. Got a door upstairs, door downstairs. So I'm going to put some doors down like that doors game y'all play. But only one door is the right door. And then to make this even more fun, we'll slide it with pressure plates so that one doesn't seem out of line. And boom, dead. Can't wait to get him with that. I, I guarantee he's going to fall for it. 100%. In fact, I will bet you guys my life Isaac does. Isaac falls for that. All right, you guys may or may not know my boy Julius Caesar. What you got here is your boy Julius was creating Minecraft defenses in real life. He made giant pits full of spikes. All right. He made a, a spike wall and then giant dips. Like he just basically just layered traps. Bro got a lava wall, spike pit wall, got it all. I mean, this is actually pretty cool looking, to be honest with you. So when Isaac walks into this room, I'd like to do something just like Julius Caesar. We'll do something like this. Isaac hops down and what do you know? A couple deadly spikes right below me. And you know, we'll see where this night takes us after this, but I was thinking maybe another layer right after this, huh? And would you look at that folks? The night is taking us to the magma section. You fall on this one, you just get burned alive. No escape from this one at all whatsoever. I would say it would be even more exciting if we then replaced the land you can walk on with random sweetberry bushes. This way, you'll get injured by sweetberry bushes and pummeled down to your death where you either get impaled or burned alive. All right, these look phenomenal to me. This is a beautiful death room, but it, to me, it's not enough. I feel like it needs to look more intimidating. So obviously we're gonna hit it with just maybe a little minor, a little something like that. Nothing too crazy. I do feel like this will intimidate Isaac greatly though. Let's go ahead and put some of these in the roof though as well. I just don't want him looking up and feeling like one of these won't fall on him at a moment's notice because they will. We have created some pretty incredible traps. We're not even done. We got even crazier ones coming. This is a fake torch trap. They created flashlights that were full of explosives. And when you use this, it would explode and blow your hand off with metal balls. And what do you know, guys? We did it today with torches. This is regular looking torch. It's not a regular torch. Check it out. Ready? I'm just gonna put it back here. Yeah. That'll get you. So when Isaac eventually gets to this room, he'll be taken into a dark room with a chest and he will have an option. We either take torches out of that chest, which are all going to be explosive. And I'm gonna put some random material down as well to make it feel more like, oh, this is a little fun, fun adventure time for Isaac. So as you fall into the dark pit of doom, this is a black concrete wall of death right? And uh, he, he should potentially see this and realize like, oh, it's about to get dark. Let me bring some torches, put them up, boom, die. Put some black banners everywhere just to really confuse him even more. Like, oh, which way do we go? Doesn't matter. You're gonna die no matter what you do, Isaac. It, literally, you will die with everything you do in this. And he's gotta figure, I mean, this is, this is just, I don't even know where I like, you know what I mean? You don't know where you are. You lose sight of everything. And so you try to place a torch because you don't know where to run. You're just gonna run into a wall and die. I mean, this is literally the most perfect trap I've ever seen. So let's just say this one is borderline perfect onto the next trap. With inspiration taken from interrogation chambers, we're now going to try to create the most mind destroying trap ever. They just create white rooms and destroy your senses. The prisoners deprived of color giving them a cell where the walls, floor, and ceiling are entirely white. Taking this to the extreme, the cell is equipped with bright neon tubes that prevent any shadows from falling on the cell. Or wow, that honestly lights, sounds pretty horrific to, to me. Extreme, I mean, it didn't sound bad at first, but the lights, the whiteness, that, prevent that sounds off. Now this one's a little bit trickier than most of the ones we've made so far because this one actually requires us to do some serious work. Oh God. We actually need to go out and create a giant white map. So by using a giant world edit selection here, I can create a giant region by selecting one corner and then selecting the other corner and turning it all to white concrete. When I do this, the map becomes pure white. All right, we're gonna place about 50,000 blocks. Give her a little breathing room here. Okay, that looks not right, but let's try this map. Oh, uh, perfect. All right, good. That was actually so much easier than I thought. Now we've got our white maps. We can go right back in the side of this. What I'd like is first to do it without night vision to see how dark it is. Okay, that's pretty dark. We need this to be much brighter. Let's do glow frames and see what this would look like maybe. Ah, uh, that's what we're looking for. Glow frames everywhere. So if I surround this entire room with pure glow frame, the room wall becomes perfectly white to a nauseating degree. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, that is horrifying. We'll do the same thing to the floor then. Bro, that looks like so weird, doesn't it? This looks like this looks like the world hasn't even rendered in. This literally is gonna convince him that he like fell off into like a weird glitch. It'd actually be almost funny to leave it like this because I would actually think that's a glitch. Like I would fall down and be like, oh, it's glitched. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna leave this as a glitch design and then make a secret entrance behind one of these. It looks like I could potentially use, I'm um, thinking a door and maybe put frames on a door to create like a glitched way out. Oh, does it work? 
Oh my god, it does. Look at that. Look at that. I can almost guarantee you when he runs through this, and if he if he even gets here, he's gonna be like, oh, Zach, the world's glitch. What do I do? Boom. Falls down. Doesn't realize that there's a door where you should go, and then I should also make a fake door here so he thinks this is the correct way. And this door leads him down a hole, which would just kill him for another amazing embarrassment. Uh, and then the correct way, obviously, is through this here. No way he finds that. No way he finds that. This one's very interesting. It was a pit trap used by Spartacus, where he would, he would kind of cover up the ground and underneath it was broken glass. Very interesting, broken pottery. We've actually, believe it or not, got ourselves some broken glass right here. And uh, if you step on this, you take damage. So the first thing you wanna do is build yourself a nice pit full of glass. I think we need to do tripwire and string because I think that's the only option here. I think we should maybe set it up here because I don't think he'll be able to see that. Uh, right away like it's kind of blending in so I know these could get these and then I know that I could have I could have some here it Seems to be a little deeper. We will do three pistons here I think all I need is three repeaters a redstone torch and then to go through and connect it to that tripwire hook That works, okay, so in theory if I step over this there we go. So then you fall in there and you just get pretty much cut to death by a million cuts. Uh, so let's go ahead and cover up our redstone and our pistons and then double check that it still works afterwards. So I'm gonna make the whole floor wood. No, I'm gonna make the floor magma because then you'd be more likely to sprint across it. When you walk through, you instantly start taking damage. So you freak out, you go straight where you fall into the pit hole and you die. This, I mean, there's a lot going on on this one. And that takes us here to our very next trap. Now this actually sounds fake. It's kind of like that cat one I did earlier. King Arnold was known to light animals on fire and send them into battle. What we've done here is created the Inferno mob spawn wand. We can use this to essentially spawn fire mobs. These fire mobs, they do leave a trail of fire pretty much everywhere they go. Create a little mini maze in here using hedges, or in this case, moss, because I feel like it's harder to see. And then release some flaming Inferno mobs to chase him like a mini Pac-Man match. I'm trying to make this maze really confusing. I feel like it's so confusing, yeah. I'm confused. But it looks like you come down here, make a little zigzag, and then you'd think you'd go there to leave, but really you go back up, which to me is like weird. And then the actual exit would be kind of hidden here. I'm hoping that's enough that maybe it'll trick him and he'll walk all the way back here to the door. And again, it's a fake door, all right? I just want to embarrass him, all right? So then in here, I would just spawn a couple of these bad boys. And uh, even really one of them would probably be enough. All right, let's go ahead and do something that really will mess with them if he manages to make it all the way through here. This is one of the most evil punishments that some say was worse than death. So you'd be kind of trapped in a bag with a bunch of animals and they would like eat you and destroy you and bite you and poison you and pack your body off and rip it off as a monkey. So I'm gonna create three holes and Isaac will have to choose a hole. We'll have a red hole, an orange hole, and a yellow hole. The red hole will be located on this side. The orange hole will be located right here, and the yellow hole will be located right in the back. All right, so we've got three holes with three choices to make, and uh, let's go ahead and build the dungeons below. So our first hole, we're gonna have cave spiders, we're gonna have pigs, and we're going to have slime. Inside of this yellow hole is going to be the creeper, mushroom, and chicken hole. So if he picks this one, we'll have to fight a battle against these characters and potentially win or die. All right, hole three coming in. We got silverfish, bees, and frogs coming in here. Who shows you guys not to call me a loser? I'll go, I'll go all out on you. And if he manages to kill all the mobs that we spawn in the room without dying, he will be crowned victor of the giant, insane, impossible death run. Just to recap, guys, this thing is brutal. You have one single life to survive every single one of these traps. They're all inspired by ancient traps. Are you ready? Oh, I was born ready, Zach. Can I start now? Three, two, one, begin. Oh gosh, what is that? Oh no, I gotta get up there. Oh my god, are you in god mode? No, it, it hurt, but it didn't kill me. How, how many are Okay, coming? Isaac's taking some damage. Oh. <laughs> you gotta get up there, bro. Dude. Here we go, here we go. Dude, that's not even possible. I ain't even gonna lie, guys. I told you I didn't touch this. <laughs> Let's see it. This one's possible. Oh, he took too long. Oh my gosh, dude. You gotta Death this. number one. All right, this one will push manually, guys. Here we go. Begin. All right, now this seems a little bit more fair. Oh, I love it. How did you even do this? I thought this was vanilla Minecraft. I didn't even install a mod. <laughs> Let's just say we got a little something special up our sleeves today. Oh, gosh. Go back. Go back. Oh, oh, oh. oh I got him with the old double. He didn't even think about it. <laughs> uh oh. All right, I'm making it. Oh! Oh, he just juked it. All right, guys, Whoa. on to the next one. He made it through with just one death. Welcome. This is uh, some sort of storage room. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay. Anything in the storage? No, no, nothing in here. Okay. 
Let's look around a little bit. What's up there? Oh, that's TNT. There's a cat in there. That is definitely TNT. There's a TNT. cat. You better save it. I just heard it. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Bro fell for the cat bomb, but he didn't die. All right, all right. He's moved it through on to the next round. Oh my gosh, what is this kind of, what kind of saw? What am I even doing? Uh-oh, 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 what's gonna happen? Is he gonna die? Of course he is. Nope, dang it. How do I get around it? Yeah, you gotta jump it, it's not easy. Dang it! I thought he would die there, bro. I really did think I got him on that, but that's okay. Wait a minute, they're sweet berries. I can pick these and get health. That is not the intention of those, but I guess you can. He's got to find his way out of this room, guys, as you know, designed after the defenses of the great ancestors. All right, it doesn't matter, Zach. I'm regening. I got berries. Do they hurt you after you pick them? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Crouch. You can crouch to walk through them. I'll help you out. Is that a thing? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Wait, where do I go, though? Oh my god, he's gonna die. Dude, there's no way out. Do I have to walk through this? You gotta get to the door. How do I do that though when everything hurts me? Hop on the bedrock, hop on the bedrock. Wait a minute, but I can't really jump I through about. that. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Dude, that's Trust so me. gonna kill Go me. ahead, try it. You can, you can, it won't kill you. Wow. All right, we're just gonna have to man up and walk through this one. Let's go. Woo! All right, Isaac makes it through Julius Caesar's trap onto, uh, what's up here, a couple torches. All right, all is right, that a trap right. chest? Oh yeah, it was, yeah, it was. All right, it was a trap chest. You're right. Don't mind me, Zach. Just eating some berries. Dude, is that even... I thought that was the void. It's so dark. Nah, it's a little dark pit of doom here. Uh... You're good. You're good. All right, get that torch out. You're going to be able to see. What? Whoa, whoa! Where am I going? No! <laughs> you know what you mean? Exploding torches. Oh, my Wait, God. Fall for it me? every time. Yep, it wasn't even the chest that exploded. Round three. He's got one life. Let's go. I'm going buddy. already, dude. You're not stopping me this time. I'm already climbing. All right, we're killing it this time now. Oh, <laughs> did he just jump in? Yes, yes, he did. He did, baby. He did. That's a death. All right, I think the trick here is just to full send it. How do I even? <laughs> All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Do I have to go down there? I don't know. Is the I think glitching? I do. I think the world's glitching. What is that? Oh, look what I just did. Wait, what, what is that? this? I don't know. Oh, did I just did I lose? <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Dude, where do I go from here? This room is disgusting. Bro is getting bamboozled. Do I have to like what? He's getting bamboozled. He's not smart enough. Dude, I can't even see anything in here. It's blinding me. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have to go through the floor somehow. Can I just like <laughs> fall through somewhere? <laughs> Dude, what is even this map? How did you do this? Oh, he found it. Bro. What? I don't even know what I did. This one is going to be interesting, folks. This is the Infernal Mob Maze of Doom. Haha! <laughs> Splash bottles of water, baby. You're going to want to have a few of those. Uh, good luck in this maze. I do wish you the best. Um, okay. You can't walk. That is illegal. You cannot Dude, do it's that. not my fault you build it like this. What? You cannot be up there. All right, illegal. All right, well, okay, okay. I'll go down. I'll go down. All right, here we go, guys. Through the Infernal Maze after the Infernal Mob. And, uh, <laughs> that's a doozy. Oh, oh, no, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh I got him! Can I kill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Did he die? Is he gonna kill me if I kill him? No! Woo! That is Boy, disgusting! That is... What? Yeah, these are all real, historical. Uh oh! Another one behind you! You better move! <laughs> oh no! Bro's running for his life right now. Got an infernal zombie behind him. Where's he go? Oh my god! He's gonna miss the door. Miss the corner. Oh! Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> there it is! Oh! Dude, do I have to go through this? You have to tell me, right? Like what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is this gonna kill me? I don't know. It might. I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's not oh, the it's... answer. Wait, it's not hurting me though. I huh? don't know why. Get, you got lucky apparently. It's not. It's not where you go though. I don't know why you're not dying. You are definitely somehow glitching. Oh yes, you... I'm invincible. Why well, can't kill me? I don't know how he's invincible. He cheated somehow. Listen, I don't... why is the fire not hurting me? I don't know. All right, on to the next one, guys. This one, take your time, take your time. Before you go through, you must tell me which color you select. Red. Red. Wait, but no, no, no. Based on the color is the mobs you must fight to defeat. If you defeat these mobs in the defeat chamber, you will be victory. Okay, you will be victory, huh? Okay. You must defeat the mobs. Cave spider. Dude, you can't put cave spider. These are the three mobs that were in here. If you defeat them, you will have beat the trapped course. Oh, what's Mom, your help at? Get out of me. Woo! Half a heart. I just clutched that up so hard. Congratulations, Isaac. You owe me $125,000, but you did make it through the course. I'll collect my earnings in the next episode of Trade. I feel like it was not fair. Like, 
I'm just being honest. I, there's nothing I could have done. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click right here to go check out an insane ancient trap base run. Peace.